go and make disciples. This is talking to you directly. You go. Hi, I'm Danielle and I call myself a ministry leader because I lead out in ministry. Also because I believe that ministry is life. I don't wait for someone to tell me what to do for God. I wait only for God to tell me, for him to give me ideas, for him to nudge me in a certain direction. Now, when I talk about ministry, I'm not talking about helping out at church. Although helping at church is good. Please help out at church. They need your help. Trust me. But I'm talking about using your gifts, your passions, your talents in ministry. That is serving God and serving the people. You don't need anyone's permission to work for God. You don't need to take your idea to church while they have a meeting about it and scrutinize it, putting lots of limitations in place. You're big people, right? You got degrees, you run businesses, you run a household, you manage your children's lives. You are quite capable of starting and running your own ministry. It's called independent ministry. You and the Holy Spirit working together. God says in Matthew 28, 19, they call it the Great Commission. It says, go and make disciples, teaching them everything that I have taught you. I'm paraphrasing, but this is talking to you directly. You go. What are you doing to share the gospel? What are you doing to disciple others? How are you teaching others about the love of Christ and how to live God's way? God has given you something very unique, a talent a gift, knowledge of something, a skill, a passion, something you're really good at, something that not everyone is good at. What is it? You can cook, you can sing, you can write. Are you excellent at hospitality? Are you a super clean freak? Maybe you're a historian, you're good at teaching, you're a good listener, or you've got the gift of the gab. You find it easy to talk to strangers. Maybe you're generous and giving. You're good with children, you relate to teenagers. Maybe you're good with your hand, you're a gardener. I could go on and on. Whatever it is, there is a way that you can use it for ministry. Mine is administration. I'm good at organizing, planning, making things happen. And then I married a creative, my husband. He writes plays, he directs, he performs poetry. So once I realized my gift, God fine tuned it to be used for him, for his kingdom. I use those skills to plan and organize events, poetry events, theater productions, film projects, Bible study programs. I also use them to plan my kids' birthday parties and family holidays. My point is what God has gifted me with, I use it to my advantage, of course. I also use it for the glory of God. I've teamed up with my husband and we work in ministry together, but you can team up with anyone or you can go it alone, depends on what it is. If you're a Christian who talks to God and has a relationship with God, I know God has dropped some ideas in your head. I know he's prompted you to do something, so do it. What are you waiting for? There's nothing special about me, other than I'm a daughter of the king, of course, but so are you. God did not say, Danielle, I want you to be a ministry leader. He just said, use what I've given you for me. Well, guess what? He's saying the same to you. First Peter 4, 10 to 11. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory. And lastly, Romans 12, 4 to 8 says, For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesy, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Pray for God to show you what to do with your gift. Don't know what your gift is? Pray that God will reveal it. Help you realize what it is. You were made for ministry.
leave a comment let me know what you're using your gifts for or if you want a bit of advice on what you should do with your gift send me a message on instagram or join my woman of faith community on facebook and create a post i'm sure we can come up with something subscribe to my channel for more videos on ministry or for encouragement on your journey as a woman of faith